here we go. Hello, everybody. As you know, we are currently sampling, tasting, testing different reality TV series to see which one we want to consume the entire season of next. I am particularly excited about today's episode. This is a show that my friend told me about. I had never heard of it before this. It's called Open House. The Great Sex Experiment. And we're gonna watch the first episode together. But for any of you who don't know me, hi, my name's Elena Joy. I make videos on this channel mostly about the queer community, sex, dating, relationships, but sometimes I react to reality TV. And usually it's gay. This time, not explicitly, but my understanding of this show is that it is monogamous, committed couples going into a house where they're gonna just have sex with other people. <laughs> I just I just don't see how this could go well. Do we think this is going to be an accurate representation of non-monogamy of polyamory? No. Do we think that it is going to be one entertaining ride? Yes. We're watching it with that caveat in mind. I do not claim that this is representative of polyamory, okay? Or non-monogamy. But maybe, maybe we'll be proven wrong. We'll have to watch and see. Okay, this is a show from the UK. You know that it's going to be good. Like the UK and the reality TV, it's a whole nother level. They're the ones that brought us Love Island. Island, they're the ones that brought us I Kissed a Girl, okay? Which is basically Love Island, but lesbians. Okay, let's do it. We are completely in love, but it doesn't mean you can't screw around. <laughs> Off to a strong start. are increasingly questioning monogamy. These curious couples are about to find out. Oh, that is gorgeous. They're traveling to a unique retreat. Hello, you are right? Where, with the help of a specialist relationship therapist, life is short. Why limit sex to just one person? Okay, so I think I was saying this earlier and then got sidetracked. This is not explicitly queer, but I was guessing that it was gonna be all heterosexual or like straight passing couples, which it appears to be so far, but they're bringing in a third. So no matter who they bring in, it's like at least half gay, right? So this counts, this is fair game. And have sex with other people. Oh, wow, oh I was my not God. If I can show you half of this. Oh no, and this is in the first minute and 28 seconds. Is daddy YouTube gonna allow me to show you this? How, how are the British like this? We're gonna have to do some fancy editing to be able to post this on YouTube. The first couple checking into this unique retreat is Maddie and Nathan from Swansea. No matter where you go, you can kind of like have a laugh, have a crack. Oh no, Nathan. they're 19 and 25? Oh no. I am not saying don't explore your sexuality in your teens or 20s. I just worry about them doing it on a reality show. Like however this goes, are they gonna look back in 20 years and be like, yep, glad I had that group sex on camera. Maddie and Nathan have been committed to each other for a year and a half and now live together. Maddie is very supportive and nurturing. And when I first seen her, she just looked good and she looked good ever since. Oh man, he's not scoring points so far. I'm gonna try and be nice. That's my goal for this first episode. I'm gonna try to be nice. <laughs> but I don't love that when asked what he likes about Maddie, like he says she's nurturing. Okay, great, that's nice. Hopefully he doesn't mean in like a she's my mom now way, but let's be honest, probably. She looked good when he first saw her and she's looked good ever since. Is that the best you can do? Is that the best you got? But now they want help to try and open their relationship, starting with their very first threesome. I think monogamy is just a social concept, like completely. There's seven billion people in the world. It is kind of weird to think that you'd be restricted to just one person for the rest of your life, you know what I mean? She seems to have her head on straight so far. The retreat is packed with experienced, sexually open residents. Eager oh. to get to know the freshman couple. Okay, I didn't quite get this. The house is full of singles who are experienced in non-monogamy. So it's not like the couples are going in and then dating and hooking up with each other. They're just thrown into a sea of singles. I've got more than 30 years experience helping couples who want to open up their relationships. It can be incredibly successful. And I've seen couples come out actually with stronger relationships. But before we get to the rest of the episode, I want to take a second to thank the sponsor of this week's content, BetterHelp. I thought this would be a good video partnership match, just like BetterHelp does client 
therapist matches because you see examples of couples therapy in this episode. And BetterHelp offers couples therapy. When you go to their site, you can use my link, betterhelp.com slash Elena, it's linked in the description, and you fill out a questionnaire so that BetterHelp can match you with the best therapist possible. One of those questions is if you're looking for therapy for you or you and your partner, individual or couples therapy. I go to both individual therapy and couples therapy because I think it's the most important thing. You can see in the show how different these couples feel when they go into therapy and when they come out. And even though it might be a bit of an extreme example, I think that it's a helpful one in terms of looking at what couples therapy might actually look like. And you can do this all from your phone or your computer via phone call, video chat, messaging, whatever feels best for you. This is the easiest possible way to start talking to a therapist. Once you fill out the questionnaire, you'll usually be matched with a licensed therapist within 48 hours. So you can get started all from the comfort of your own home. So again, visit betterhelp.com slash Elena or choose Elena Joy during sign up to enjoy a special discount for your first month. We definitely want to try a threesomes and see if it's something that would suit us. And uh, sexuality. I'm Why bisexual. Is... He's straight. straight. Hell yeah. What we're looking for is kind of like a throuple type situation where we can bring somebody into our relationship, um, sexually and emotionally. But I want to try okay. first to see what would happen and if I can handle it. I'm getting more and more on board with her. I'm still, he's just kind of along for the ride. Fine. Good for you, dude. So yes, she's 19. But she also seems to be genuinely interested in non-monogamy by, and so wanting that to be a part of her relationship and not just here for him, which I think was my fear. This is the place where people do have sex with other people and it's facilitated so you're in a safe space. Yeah. <laughs> so has she ever seen you kiss another girl? No. How do you think if she, if she did? Uh, I don't know, it could be bad. You guys are just throwing yourself in here, aren't you? Okay. Sure are. To help ease Nathan and Maddie into being intimate with people outside of their relationship, Dr. Laurie has included erotic group games in the social. Oh, I right, right, right. <laughs> Even closed his eyes and everything. <laughs> no, it's all right. I'm all right. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself for not even feeling like the slightest bit jealous. Gently tug on your lover's nipples while offering a sensational kiss. Go on. Okay. Yeah. These are what? Yeah. Hold on. Hey, yes, girl. She's having the best night of her life. I think she my girlfriend making out with hot girls. I was living more people's dreams. So far, they're having a great time. All the power to them. Can I have a little chat? I yeah. just wondering if you'd like to spend the night with us. Yeah! <laughs> that would be amazing. Ta -da. Amazing! Look at this! This show is wasting no time. We are a third into the first episode and a couple has brought someone back to their room to have a threesome. We're in for a wild ride. I can just, I can feel it in my bones. Most people often think that non-monogamy is a threat to relationships, but actually affairs are mm. a far bigger threat. In many cases, opening up is more likely to save and improve your relationship. You've got to change your mindset and you have to learn some skills. Preach, Dr. Lori. Next to arrive at the retreat are married couple John and Danielle from Bolton. The pair have four children together. Scared to death. Really nervous, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now we have almost the exact opposite mid 30s, four kids, been together for at least a decade, it sounds like. Let's hear their reasons, though. The couple have come to seek help to try and open their relationship, starting by taking part in an orgy. Oh my god. So tell me about what brought you here. Have sex with other people, but in an open and honest way. So have yeah. you, either of you had affairs? Well, I had a, I cheated like 10 years ago. Oof, okay. How long did it take before you began to trust her again? Um, I didn't fully recover until I had an affair. More recently. Oh, it's so much harder to open a relationship up when there's been an affair because the trust is broken and it's actually the lying, not the sex that caused yep. the problem. So you're really asking yep. for something hard when you want to bring another person into your relationship when 
you don't trust your partner because of the affair. Well, and that's exactly what she was saying earlier about opening up your relationship versus having an affair. You are doing so much more damage through the lying, right? Than the damage that you risk through some sort of open discussion. Because with cheating, the most damaging part isn't actually the sex with another person. The damaging part is the break of trust. You're not ready for group sex at this point, in my opinion. You need to take okay. things one step at a time. I'm going to send you on separate socials and you'll get the opportunity to spend time and meet a whole group of people. We want to have some agreements about where the lines are drawn. So mm -hmm. I'm actually going to give you an agreement for this. Yeah, please. No full on intercourse. Normally I'm encouraging people to go further, further, but this time I want to put in stuff there so you don't have to worry about what she's doing. I'll, mm. I'll, be, I'll be worrying no matter what. Well, see, there's your problem. I'm glad that she can kind of put the brakes on too. You know, there's risk on a, on a show like this that for the sake of entertainment, they're letting couples kind of jump into the deep end, hoping for some chaos. I'm surprised so far. I feel like they're doing a good job of kind of giving us an introduction to what it might look like thinking about opening up a relationship. So far, maybe. Yay! They're in it, wow, okay. Here we go. Why the eerie music? Is something gonna go wrong? Oh my God, the sounds. We can't have those sounds in. <laughs> oh my God. If you're gonna go watch this show on your own, warning, nudity. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. He's looking like that. And those two were going at it beside him? It just weren't a good vibe. My feelings at that point didn't really matter. Okay, wow. Okay, I completely misread these two when they first came in. Oh, she just wants to be with a girl. She wants to have her experience with women while still in her relationship. And so she's like, hey, babe, let's have a threesome. And then he's like, that sounds great. And then they get there and she's like, do you want to go sleep in the bathroom? Oh, oh no. Oh, he's sad. like that sometimes. I know he's over tired, but I just feel really, really bad. Did it she just been. say he's like that sometimes? But I know he's over tired. <laughs> like he's a baby. I know he gets cranky sometimes when he stays up past his bedtime. I had such a good time last night. Um, and I'm sure Precious had a great time as well. The hardest thing I think is just like, seeing how quickly it can all change just by not um, being fully aware of everybody's emotions and needs. Yeah. Initially I thought there was going to be no negatives. To me, some of two girls, it's going to be a good crack no matter what happens. Mm, yeah, But then amazing. I suppose the situation has like brought out a, a different side of Madison I, I didn't know was there. What does he mean a side of Madison he didn't know was there? I... Was... Yeah. Hmm. No. Nope. Okay. Nope. Elena, be nice. Be nice. Okay. Therapy. Alrighty. Oh. He's just wearing just a different color of the same shirt. Is that his brand? Is he here promoting his own brand of t-shirt? Or does Nathan just have brand loyalty? She was so worried about herself, about like being left out. I bet she would have been more like intuitive of the situation. Mm. To expect somebody to be intuitive in that, in that situation, yeah. big ask. I thought I was going to be the problem. I feel so bad because we were so focused on my jealousy and like how I was going to think. Like we didn't really take the time to think about what, how you would, like I think he was mm -hmm. an afterthought and I, I'm really sorry for that. You need to build in check-ins, Yeah. Mm -hmm. right? Even though it, that might seem awkward. This is part of the process. Just because you're having sex doesn't mean you don't talk. Yeah. You just need the skills. I like her. Do you want to continue? Yeah. That was added in after. Hold on. Shows crack me up when they do this. When you can so clearly hear that they've dubbed something in after. Listen to her talking and then listen to that one line when she's, they're not showing her face because she recorded that after and they stuck it in. You just need the skills. Normal. Do you want to continue? Dubbed. Yeah, yeah definitely. Okay, dubbed, so if not see, AI. What I want to do is send you on a date with somebody else. Okay. And potentially spend the night with them. Yeah. 
once you've selected somebody, you actually talk about what things you guys might do so that you're all on the same page. Yeah. And so it's, there's always negotiation. There's yep. always communication. Yeah. Before, Thanks during, so and after. It's so no much problem. better now. <laughs> Go enjoy yourselves, and I'll see you later. Thank you. It's quite normal for a first threesome to go a bit awry. Ugh, I like her, I like her. She just kind of normalized the experience. She didn't make a big deal out of it. She let them know that what they were experiencing was common. This is part of it. Here's some tips. Let's try again. <laughs> what matters is how the couple deal with it and how they work it through. If it happens the same way a second time, then I would be quite worried about them. Right. The couple have asked dancer Grace to join them in the hot tub and she agreed. I think we've definitely decided on Grace, haven't we? We really got on with her in the social. Also like a um, new woman. Like, yeah, so I think um, she's just a, a great fit, I think. I guess that makes sense because Precious and Maddie had a stronger connection. So maybe they're looking for someone who's more equally connected to both of them. What do you like actually enjoy? Like, is it just penetration for you? That's like the biggest thing or? Yeah, pretty much just penetration. I don't need to be kind of like two of you working on me that I'm not into that. Yeah. So what position is it that makes you climax? Is it? I think it's missionary sometimes, it's but, missionary, but, but it's in the right angle, yeah. He's got like quite a curve to it. Curved dicks are like the best dicks, yeah. so that's really nice to know. There you go. If any of you have been feeling self-conscious, <laughs> you, you heard it here first. Okay, so we saw them, they talked about what they like a little bit from what we saw. We didn't see them talk about what they wanted from this experience. So I don't know if that was exactly the homework. I'm hoping this is gonna be the redemption of last night. And I mean, you'll see in the morning, but it's good vibes so far. We'll see in the morning or we'll see right now while you do it <laughs> through the cameras that are set up in the room. Last time around, Nathan struggled to perform. Don't say it like that. Nathan struggled to perform. It's a nerve wracking experience. And when someone's feeling like heightened and anxious, that's gonna be one of the hardest times for someone to perform. Let's not call it a failure. Let's not call it a performance. There, there's so many other things that you can do and that he could do if he had been given the chance. <laughs> Not tonight. Am I gonna have to give my editor like a warning? Is this oh, is this like an HR thing? <laughs> oh my god. This is a lot. Yeah, how do you feel? <laughs> okay, he's having fun. We probably can't put any of that stuff that we just watched in. So what we'll say is he's having fun. Now we've got the happy plinky music, so I think that means good things. Hi, how you guys doing today? Yeah, amazing. <laughs> Much better. Uh -huh. quite elated. Okay. I mean, it was night and day experiences because yeah. you didn't feel jealous because yeah. there was constant communication. And then because I was communicating more, I felt more comfortable. The way the second night went, I think I'm definitely looking towards the future and yeah. perhaps opening it up. Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, 100%. She's having a blast. I love this. Like, I love this for her. The only part that I don't love is that it's like happening in front of anybody who wants to watch, you know? I hope you have a wonderful time. Thank you. I hope so too. Well, we're gonna have to look up if they're still together. Okay, and then they leave. Oh, 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 they gave us an update. Maddie and Nathan have joined a dating app. They've been on several dates with other women and have enjoyed more successful threesomes. They plan to keep opening their relationship and are stronger than ever. Maddie and Nathan open house. Oh, it looks like they're still together. I think that's that same guy covered in tattoos. Yeah. Oh, they're engaged. Maddie and Nathan going strong. <laughs> so I guess some of the couples come in for one episode and get what they need and then leave and others stay for multiple episodes. So this is interesting because each episode, we don't really know what we're gonna get. I'm intrigued, come on. Let me know your thoughts on this potential season as our next watch through in the comments down below. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already because that's where the magic happens. And one more thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Remember, if you go to betterhelp.com slash Elena, you can get a special discount on your first month of therapy. An extra huge thank you to my VIP patrons, my vitally important producers. You all make my world go round. I have so much bonus content over on my Patreon. So if you're not a part of my Patreon, that is the best way to support my content, to support this channel, to support my upcoming podcast. So be sure to check that link out in the description. 
thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I mean, I guess I should have known what was coming. There's literally sex in the title.